Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let's get after this. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Haven't done anything since prior video with this. Well, we did move the excavator. Hey, come here. Come on. Since everybody says I gotta introduce you and go sooner. Come on. Oh, you're cheating? There you go. What are you doing, bud? Pure blue healer, Yanko, after the Camaros, the Camaro builder. So, I'm gonna cut the bolts off. And we're going to pull that floor up so I can see exactly what we're doing. Like prior, I said I'm going to add some marker lights because, well, I liked it. We also got to do the cans, but I figure I'll pull that floor off so I know exactly what's underneath it. Um, and then we'll go, and I got to weld a little bit right there. Um, and then at some point, I'll put that back on. My goal for this weekend, being it's Friday right now, um, and it's supposed to rain a good bit. Well, not afraid to work out in the rain as long as it's warm is get the tender sitting on this and figure out how I'm gonna mount it to this. That is my goal. So, alrighty. Gotta cut those off and get the wood off. brake can out i actually got to weld the bracket that goes to that one that one was in good working shape um i might just put all four so i know they're all they're all even but decks off that we got to get some wires we got to get some lights um yeah we're gonna run fleet pride we and yanko and we'll be back we'll start getting this thing wired up Got all the goodies, I think, I hope. I hope they gave me everything, so. Got four new, got wire, got all the clevises, got tail lights, got all the grommets, all the connectors. I think I got everything. Well, that's why I couldn't find them. Hopefully they gave me the right stuff. Yep, those are the bigger ones. So, there we go. Doing all of them new, just so everything's good. You agree? Rewiring everything, adding lights. I gotta get into that. It's getting chilly in the shade now. Outdoor shop. But, do have two pieces to weld underneath here. I do know of that, so I better get the rest of the brake cans off. Get those welded, get it reassembled. <laughs> Making a mess now. Oh, this was being used as the spring in uh, this one, so it was pulling it back. I have a feeling this wheel's gonna come off. It's just got some something feels tight, uh, and we'll do the brakes probably. I can see in the brake pads actually look pretty good still, but as you see right here, there isn't much life left of that. So if that springs off, there's still a spring that pulls it back. So new part old part yep it's definitely time so doing all four of those i'm gonna get underneath it and weld the two pieces that i need one of the hangers or what hangers brackets that hold these on is cracked on the side so we're gonna straighten that weld it on same with the cross member has a little crack to it so do both of that there's not much room underneath here but it definitely beats the time i was laying on the side of the road trying to get to it 
got my little fake grass underneath um enough that i can sit up and weld stuff and well, we'll see Alrighty, i'll get back to you once i weld that because can't really uh weld and show you guys at the same time I thought we were in the clear, but clearly we're not. So I got that one hooked up. It's got a adapter on that one. Then I come over to this side and I'm like, okay. So I, let me get that out of the way. I pulled that out Go over there. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Same with this bigger one. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, so I do have these bolt kits. And I got this, which can go in one of them. I don't have another one. Well, I don't have one that is this size, and I'm not really sure why one size is bigger or smaller. I'm sure I could switch it over, but I think my easiest bet would be go get one of those adapters tomorrow. I do have these kits, and when I got them last spring, when I first started really messing around with air brakes and uh, the setting up the semi, the tanker, I got these kits from USA Bolt kits compression dot's and the part assortments these have been a lifesaver but i have one that could go on that line where was it i think oh, that's another one this one could go on that line but how big that line going in doesn't line up to it ah uh, missing one piece as of now so we're not doing too bad definitely not doing Amazing because it's getting chilly. Sun's going down. I'll have three in and ready to go. And we'll get them hooked up. But I have to get the last one tomorrow. That's how it goes. Plus, I got to clean my mess up. I don't know if the milk truck comes tomorrow or not. I'm right in the way. So. Alrighty. Let's get these in what I can and start seeing if we can cut some holes for the lighting because we'll do that first okay so we sit down in here because we've got no room welcome to the office for today let's slide in here so i can do the two fronts oh, it's getting a little dark in here and i can do one rear so i'm gonna make sure i put them in the right spot because the couplings are different oh. So, and now we can't really see much anyways, right over here, let me turn you straight, right here I had a little crack, this bracket here, I wel extra welded that side, the other side, and I apologize for it being dark, that was split off and this thing was like pointed out, like that, so now we're sturdy, checked over everything, it's an old trailer, but it's a good one, should be a good one. We'll find out, right? So there's two different clevises. And uh, the one I took off first was the big one like this. Well, the other front one is a small one. So it doesn't work. I might take it off that other. Because that one's still pretty decent. But I'm thinking the rears are both smaller. So I'm slowly running into problems. Yeah, I screwed up there. Because the one I took was a big one. Like that. And all of these other ones are small. So I was like, oh, whoa, no, I need I need big clevises. But I, I wouldn't have known that without taking all these out. And if I had done that, I would have been sitting in traffic on my way home at the time I went. But I do have one. This clevis wasn't really used that much. These probably were halfway okay. Um, I can pull them out. Which means they're getting weaker, I think. Yeah. The other ones are harder to pull. 
So it was probably best I did that. I'm not gonna reuse these clevises though. You can just see they're beat up and a pain. So as of right now, I'm missing a connection or the proper size connection and two clevises. Always something. I'll get this one in and the fronts will be good. I'll have to work on the backs tomorrow, the rears tomorrow. There was comments uh, prior about putting 30-30 brake hands in so that it applies the brakes when there's no air. These only apply the brakes when you put air to them. And I'm just going with what was there prior. I wasn't going to mess around with anything. I'm sure maybe someday, but chalking tires really isn't that bad. It's not like I'm parking them on a hill, things like that. When it's loaded, it'll either be sitting on a flat ground right in the middle of the barn or it'll be attached to this truck. So I'm not that worried. Plus, we always have chalk blocks with this truck. So <sighs> got the front on. <sighs> Amateur. I can't. Yeah. It's annoying that I messed that up. But what can I do? Tomorrow. It's supposed to rain, I think, still. So. We'll see if it is or not. Pop. These are junk. Um, so I can throw those in my metal pile. And I can start in on the next stuff. Which is switching all these lights. Cutting new holes, switching that light, and then adding light there and switching the light up there. As you see, there's some more brake cans that came out of uh, that truck. Plasma cutter makes life nice. I think I gotta make that a little bigger. I did cut a little. Where am I here? Now, insert of what it's gonna be. Cut this one. We had junk in it from our holes here, so that's gonna get cut out. We're just gonna plate that a little bit. I think I got one little hole here. That might get cut out at some point. But adding lights, because style. I've always liked lights. My PJ trailer doesn't have enough lights on the side. It's only got three, so we're gonna have five down the side of this. It's gonna look good rolling along since we do do a lot of work at night because of the manpower that I got so yeah that one was already there I popped that out I guess we'll dig through the bag and get what we need and keep on moving since it is getting dark and it's getting cold not exactly sure how cold it's gonna get but it is gonna get cold got those lights in that one in got this hole cut so this was what was going on. As you see, it was just rotted out and so it slowly rusts inside and makes all that. So I just cut that out. I got a plate we're gonna weld in um, to clean it up. That's nothing structurally. As you see, that's, what is that, 16th inch or something? So the structure is the top and this brace and then back to itself and then weld it over there. So that's just visual appeal and keeping stuff from going inside of it finally making some progress so we added two lights <clears throat> rewired everything still got to do that rear light let me swing this around so added this one took some took a lot of effort been struggling laying underneath there is not that much fun that one got added, rewired all of this. Got to put the junction box and wire all the way back to the taillights. Oh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. We got a bunch of more stuff to do. It's supposed to rain, so we'll see how far we get. Rainy day in the outdoor shop. It actually snowed like an inch this morning, but. You can see the progress that I did last night, getting the lights in, decks all stripped, which you guys saw that in the day, welded underneath, I'm all the way back to there with wire, got a junction box to put up in the front, and this was my morning, so, got some landing gear for it, Facebook Marketplace, good morning, 
yeah, I was just about to buy some landing gear and uh, said I'll check Facebook Marketplace. One, one ad and it was in Rhode Island. So I'm still way ahead of than buying new ones. I think new are like 400 to 600 bucks. So I've got the shaft. He said it came off 30 ton trailers, so I gotta figure out exactly how I'm gonna place them in there, cut the hole there, send it across, probably go like that. And uh, I'm working on some wood right now for the deck, so. Yeah, it's Saturday and it's raining. There will be no at work in the outdoor shop, especially because I gotta crawl underneath to get these wired all the way back. But that came out pretty slick. I did punch a hole through that because what I found out was if it leaks down in there, the corners, this was full of water yesterday. So, and I did go get some uh, clevises and whatnot. So, But we're going to replace this wood too. As you see, there's not much left of it. That will probably help us wiring when we take that off. So... I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow since, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go do stuff, but nothing worth filming, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. We're going to keep uh, wiring. We're going to secure some of these wires. What else are we going to do? Fix, finish air brakes while well, everything except for one fitting because I didn't get that. And finish wire in the back here and oh we got landing gear we got to figure out metal so that's the plan for today end goal we'll see if we get to it i want the tender sitting on here <clears throat> so i can visually see how i'm gonna attach it it's gonna be on so it can come off and on but that is the plan we'll see if we get there first thing first got a junction box we're gonna put up in the front Landing gear didn't mount itself, which imagine that. We'll get to it. Gonna need some metal. It'll be so much nicer. So currently, you drop these down, and then you drive away with the truck. Usually with an air ride, you can drop it enough, slide out. Landing gear is gonna go on, and that's gonna be able to jack it up. Especially since with the floater tires, I sit pretty high in the rear. Well, you ready to get this day gone? Yeah, it's not that cold it's not raining the sun is supposed to come out and it's supposed to warm up to like 40 degrees so today's gonna get get nice i think wasn't able to pull this line back through there it's just too thick so just the air lines running up through these two we'll zip tie that up nicely i guess i'll do that right now finish that but here's where we're at comes down put a junction box in so that's all tight oh, all in the it's not tight yet got the ground wire there once i get this wired up i gotta go through and put uh nuts on to hold all the wires i'll zip tie everything too and here i am working on the airline runs down as you see it runs there i put some hosing around here to keep some of the life in there Got it zip tied in, so I'll do that at every cross member. Yeah, it's a start. Let's get this done though. Here we go. All buttoned up to here. Gotta run that line underneath. Gotta do some work underneath me. Tam is out here partying it up. That's mom. Right? Okay. Yeah, we were just talking about YouTube. But here we go. Learn something about this. This trailer used to stop right here. And they added this on. So I ripped this off. I might put metal across this with some slats. Instead of wood. But this is the mess I'm dealing with. So somebody with a... Well, actually, they did put silicone in that one. 
Not sure where that goes. Let's see underneath it. Since we got four lights there, and I got four to replace it. Let's crawl underneath and see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Little splice connections. Stuff running everywhere. More splice connections. Look at that. To splice something into a splice into another splice. Yeah, that's why we're rewiring this. But okay, I gotta put you down and keep going. We're gaining. Got K money over here. Marker lights. Those are all wired. I have to do the ground underneath for that one. That's wired. Tail lights are all wired except for I ran out of buck connectors, so. I got a mess right now. Same with underneath there, I ran out. All new lights there. But we're looking good right now. So, all cleaned up. Just gotta weld some pieces along to hold the wire and then we're gonna be good. There we go. Wired, all grounded, everything's painted. All the wire's neat. Last things to do is wire those two grounds underneath and put the last two brake cans on since I did get the right shackles for that. Shackles? Clevises. So, K-Money's gonna climb underneath there and do it for me and we're gonna be mint. Yeah. Right? Just underneath here. For those of you who have not watched previous videos like us going to Iowa, I purchased this after I found out I was going to Iowa to pick up, okay, money's cleaning up some snow, to pick up uh, transmission for the 7520. I also picked up two kernel processors, dropped some tires off, dropped an unloader off. Um, so we had a full trip, but I got this from a Brandt fertilizer location in Illinois. It ain't perfect. The fenders are gonna come off because it's gonna sit on it. Uh, I do need one little band down there that holds it together. Forgot we still had that chained. So we actually had this drop down off the mount and move over. So that made it interesting, but yeah, 16 ton fertilizer spreader. That's my whole plan. All I gotta do is plumb. I think there's a feed and that's a return. Yeah, feed, return, and that's it should be pretty easy and fab how I'm gonna set the bottom up well, that still looks good put some grease in everything so we're gonna pick it up I'm gonna back underneath and I drop some of uh eight by tens or whatnot that we got in front of the barn just for right now to set it on and they're sitting on the trailer so I can set it down measure exactly what I want to do where I want to lay it out and uh, then I'll get my metal, fab up the frame so it can sit on that. And my idea is I'm gonna be able to take it on and off the same way as I'm doing right now, put the legs underneath it like it's sitting on now, and then either go haul equipment with this or set this up so I can put the water tanker on it. But as you see, I couldn't find my six by sixes, which is weird. I'm thinking somebody cut them up and made them into something, but threw these on. We better get this done before it gets dark. I want, this was my whole, I wanted to get this done this week, so I better get going. Pull the legs out, since it's up in the air. Now I just gotta back underneath it.
Charlie, go up more for Alrighty, both of you go up slow. Hold on, Kev. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That pump's gonna touch. I know. Go up a little, both of you. Hold on, Cap. Go up, Morgan. Cap, hold on. I'm not doing anything. Hey, hold on. I need more wood. You have that? Ever have that issue? You're a few inches short. <laughs> Slowly go down, both of you. Yeah, you go. Come on. Come here. Keep going down. Keep going down. You're going down. I'm all the way off. Okay, go right down and back out. We'll see where we're at. it is progress for sure so got a lot of work still to do on that but it's on the trailer it's giving me an idea hope you guys have enjoyed this weekend's do-it-yourself projects i'll see you guys on the next video appreciate everybody liking and subscribing we've got some more of this coming before we get into actual crop work so thanks for watching have a good one